to feel your sit bones grounding down into your mat, your shoulders relaxing away from the ears. Gently tuck your chin towards your chest so you feel the back of the neck getting grown a little bit longer. Softly pull the belly towards your spine. With every inhale, start to feel how your spine's getting longer. And with the every exhale, feel how you're grounding down, feeling centered. Softly bring your palms to your, towards your heart center as you open your eyes. Inhale, reach the palms up and overhead, palms facing towards each other. Exhale, side bend over to the right side. Right palm by your side, left fingertips reaching up and over. Stack your shoulders. Gently gaze up towards the left fingertips. Breathe length into the right and left side body. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, side bend over to the left side. Place the left palm down by your side. Reach the right fingertips up and over. Pull that shoulder back. Gaze up towards the right fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Come back to center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, side bend over to the right side. Deep breath in as you come back to center, reach up. Exhale, side bend over to the left side, go a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, pull your hands to your heart center. Inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend over to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands to heart. Bring the right palm onto your left ear for a little neck stretch. Pull your left shoulder away from the left ear. Take a deep breath. And then exhale, bring the right ear closer to your right shoulder. Come back to center, switch sides. Left palm comes over and grabs onto the right ear. Take a deep breath as you breathe length into your spine, length into the right side of your neck. And then exhale, maybe gently pull that neck, that head closer to your left shoulder. Come back to center, interlace the 10 fingers behind your neck and start to tuck the chin towards your chest. In the meantime, keep your spine nice and strong, nice and straight. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bend your right elbow and grab the right elbow with the left palm. Getting into our shoulders, keeping the length of the spine, feeling yourself grounding down and gently and softly start to pull the right palm in between the shoulder blades. Inhale, reach the arms back. Exhale, bend the left elbow. Grab onto the left elbow with the right palm. And then start to pull that left elbow, the left palm in between the shoulder blades, feeling a nice opening in your left shoulder. Keep the spine nice and long. Keep reaching with the crown of the head. Place your hands onto your shins. Take a deep breath. And then exhale, start to walk forward with the fingertips onto the mat, feeling the sit bones grounding down into the mat. Fold forward. Breathing into your hips, start to open up. Gently walk the fingertips back and switch legs. Bring the other shin forward, flex the toes towards the knees to protect the knee joints. Place the fingertips down onto your mat and slowly and gently start to walk forward as you keep the length into your spine. And then the next exhalation, round out, fold forward. Keep continue breathing. Nice, long, steady breath in and out through the nose. Slowly walk back, plant your palms, step back into a tabletop position, stacking the joints, wrist under the shoulder, knees under the hips. Inhale the right fingertips out to the side and exhale as you thread the needle. Reach the right fingertips underneath your body, place the right ear down onto the mat. Keep the nice length into the spine. Try to square your hips. Press both shin bones into the mat and reach the left fingertips forward so you get a nice stretch in the entire left side body. Stay with the nice deep breathing. Slowly place the left palm back onto the mat. Inhale the right fingertips out to the side. Exhale, release it back down as you come back to your tabletop. Other side, inhale, left fingertips up. 
Exhale, thread the needle, left palm reaching towards the right side underneath the body. Place the left ear onto your mat. Square your hips. Breathe some awareness into your belly as you reach the right fingertips forward. Slowly opening up in your twist. Maybe reach the right fingertips just a little bit more forward, keeping the right arm nice and straight. Slowly place the right palm back onto your mat and inhale the left fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, find your tabletop. Tuck your toes under and lift your knees just a couple inch away from the mat. Keep the spine nice and long. Slightly tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly in, start to activate your core. And slowly as you can with the next exhalation, press yourself back into your first downward facing dog. Ground down through your palms. Maybe bend one knee, bend the other knee. Lift the heels high and then exhale as you release them down onto your mat. Maintain a nice flat spine. Start to rotate the triceps towards the back of the room. And then walk the fingertips all the way to the back of the mat towards your feet. Come into Ragdoll, Uttanasana. Feet are hip distance apart. Allow the whole upper body to hang heavy, maybe grab opposite elbows. Now bring the palms behind your back. Interlace the ten fingers, press the palms together, keep a micro bend in the elbows, and allow the fist to fall forward, allow the head to hang heavy. Keep that nice bend in your knees. Be gentle with the hamstrings. Slowly release, place the palms back onto your mat and walk back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath, exhale it out. With the next inhale, hinge forward into high plank position. Wrist underneath your shoulders, the whole body is strong. Keep the legs engaged, reach the heels towards the back of the room, the crown of the head forward. And slowly with the next exhalation, lower down halfway. Press it back to your high plank and exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Warming up our shoulders, inhale, hinge forward, high plank pose. Exhale, slowly lower down to Chaturanga. Press it back, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. If it's ever too much, you can always do the Chaturangas onto your knees. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, squeeze those elbows to the side. Press back, high plank pose. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale, hinge forward, come into your high plank, lower down all the way to your belly this time. Interlace the ten finger behind your back, press the tops of your feet into your mat, spin the inner thighs up towards the ceiling, lift the kneecaps, lift the, lift the top of the feet away from the mat as you start to press the feet towards your fist, towards your feet and lift the chest up, kiss the shoulder blades together, keep the gaze down at the top of your mat, exhale lower it down, place your palms by your side, press into the tops of your feet and come on into an upward facing dog with a nice rich breath. Press your chest through your arm bones. Release the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, downward facing dog. Step to your top of the mat. Step, step to the top of your mat and inhale, come into a half a lift. Exhale, fold forward, keeping all that nice length that you created in a half a lift. Place your palms onto your hips and inhale, rise up all the way to a standing Tadasana. Bring the hands to your heart center. Take a moment here, take a breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half a lift. Exhale, step back to your high plank position. Keep the core strong, keep the legs strong, lower down halfway. Inhale, press into the tops of your feet, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. One more time, inhale, exhale it out. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, come into a half a lift, Ardha, strong core. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach up, exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward, feet a flat spine. Inhale, Ardha, half a Exhale, Chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, reach the heart forward, lower the shoulders away from the ears. Spin the inner thighs to the ceiling. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in. 
Let it out, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center, Samastiti. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. You can always jump back. If you jump back, arrive at bent elbows to protect your joints. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, finding your downward facing dog. Breathe length into the spine. Engage your belly, your core. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale, find that halfway lift. Exhale, fold in deep. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Stand up. Now interlace the 10 fingers be over your head. Press the palms together and release the index finger. Take a deep breath in as you lengthen. Exhale, standing Ardha Chandrasana half moon over to the right side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go over to the left side. Just warming up the sides, warming up the obliques. Inhale, come back to center. This time, go back to the right side. Ground down through your heels. Squeeze the outer hips. Pull the belly in. And then start to lift up through the left and right side body. As you find length into the spine, start to reach through the fingertips, through the index finger, all the way to the right side as you stack your shoulders. Inhale, come back to center. Now you're going to go over to the left side. Squeeze the palms together, reach with the fingertips towards the left side, but keep that grounding sensation through the heels. Lift the kneecaps a little bit higher, squeeze the hips together, pull the belly in, lift up through both sides by side body. Pull the shoulders gently back towards your ears, but keep the arms straight. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Come into chair pose. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Sit nice and deep into your chair. Shift the body weight into your heels. And gaze down, make sure you can see your toes. Maybe shift your shin bones back. Now shift the body weight all the way to the right foot and gently with core control, step the left foot back for warrior one. Keep the reaching sensation through the arms. Feel the outer arch of the left foot grounding down and then start, feel that nice grounding sensation through the left foot. Start to push the left hip gently forward and at the same time, in the same time, start to pull the right hip back. Pull the belly and reach with the arms and exhale, step back into your chair pose. Sit nice and deep, create a nice flat spine as you pull the belly in, reach with the fingertips, rotate the triceps forward. Try to release the tension from your neck and shift the body weight over to the left foot and step the right foot back for warrior one. Square your hips forward. So start to push the right hip forward and gently start to pull the left hip back. Keeping the right knee away from the mat, keeping the energy in the entire right leg, maybe start to sink a little bit deeper into your left foot, into your left knee, bend that left knee just a little bit more. But keep the lengthening sensation through the spine. Step back into your chair pose. Find length into the spine as you sit a little bit deeper into your chair. And exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, plant the palms to your mat. Step back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, plant your palms onto your mat. Step back. Lower down, chaturanga, nice and slow as you squeeze the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift your hips high. Down dog. Take a breath in. Feel your tailbone reaching up to the sky. Gaze forward. 
And with the next exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samastiti, hands to heart center. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, or the halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga, hands down to the mat, step back, lower down. Always an option to come down to your knees if it's too much for your joints, too much for your shoulders, your wrists. Step back, downward facing dog. Left leg forward, inhale, rise up, warrior one, palms towards each other. Feel the lengthening sensation through the fingertips. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high to low plank, lower down nice and slow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of the mat. Inhale to a half a lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Inhale, back to chair pose, sit nice and deep. Exhale, straighten the legs, fold forward. Inhale, half Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, up for facing dog. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward and reach up to warrior one. Exhale, plant your palms, lower down, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward, inhale, rise up, ground down through the back arch. Reach up the arms, exhale, step back, high to low plank. Just warming up the body. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it in your downward facing dog, connect to your breath. Inhale, look forward, exhale. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Come into frog pose, malasana. Toes are heels in. Feet are mat distance apart. Bring your elbows to your inner knees and press the palms together. Release the, the sit bones down towards your mat and find a nice flat spine. Now release the left fingertips to the left side and reach the right fingertips up to the sky for a nice twist. Breathe length into the spine. Exhale, release both palms back down to the earth. Right fingertips reaching out to the side as the left fingertips reaching up and over to the side, finding a nice twist. Bring the fingertips back. And then we're going to find bear pose. So sit back nice and deep. Try to bring the sit bones aligned with your knees and bring the whole upper body in between the inner thighs as you reach the fingertips forward but gently pulling the shoulders back away from the ears, gaze down. Create that nice strong spine, reach the tailbone back, feel the body weight into your heels. Now release the palms down onto the mat. I actually releasing my fist down to the mat, I can create a little bit more awareness in the arms and reach the right fingertips up to the sky. Stay nice and low with your sit bones, your glutes. Release the right palms down to the earth and then twist over to the other side, reaching the left fingertips up and overhead. Keep the core engaged, keep the breath flowing through the body. Release the left fingertips down to the, down to the mat and then slowly straighten the legs, come into a half a half flat spine. Exhale, step or hop back to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, bring your right knee to your forehead, round it out. So shift your shoulders over your wrist, use your core and lift your right knee high towards your forehead. Now bring the right knee out to the right armpit. Keep the body exactly in the same position. Keep the left leg active in the same time. Now bring the right knee over to the left armpit, cross, cross underneath your body. Bring the right foot, the right knee back to center, forehead to knee. Exhale, step through low lunge. Now step the left foot forward, inhale to a half fairly flat spine, exhale plant your palms and finding crow pose, arm balancing. Shift the body weight forward, place the knee somewhere in between the elbow and the, and the armpit, hinge forward and lift the toes away from the mat, maybe today just one leg. If it's in your practice, maybe you can try to shoot back from your crow pose. 
and then exhale find your downward facing dog this time inhale the left leg high lifting with the inner thigh and then exhale shift forward in a high plank bring the left knee to your forehead round it out now bring the left knee to the left armpit lift as high as you can keep the right leg still active your shoulders are over your wrists now bring the left knee over to the right armpit use your obliques use your core use your breath as you lift it a little bit higher bring the knee and the forehead to touch step the left foot forward and step the right foot next to your left foot inhale come into a half a lift exhale plant your palms come into crow pose bakasana one more time keep the fingers nicely separated hug the triceps towards the back of the room slightly bend your elbows place the knees onto your triceps and come up into crow pose you can lower down to head balance from here a tripod headstand if you can do it safely you can see how I'm demonstrating on the video. Lower the head down. And then lift the legs up. Use your breath, use your core, activate the legs, squeeze the outer hips. Maybe you can lower it down. So you're coming back into your crow pose. As you lift up to the crow pose, really utilize your, your core, your breath, really squeeze the breath out, activate your core. Then you can step or jump back to your chaturanga. The most important thing that you stay with your breath, staying engaged, staying present in your practice. Come back, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Coming into a one-legged Tadasana. Lift the left leg up. Left knee is aligned with your left hip and flex the left toes towards the knee. Coming into figure four, standing figure four. So cross the left ankle on top of the right knee. Keep the body weight into the right heel as you slowly start to sit down. Feel the nice opening in your left hip. Square your hips. And if you're stable, maybe reach the arms up and overhead, palms facing towards each other as in mountain pose. Inhale, come back into a one-legged Tadasana, left leg lifts up hip height. Exhale, step back into your crescent lunge. Square your hips forward, keep the back heel lifted. Bring a micro bend into your left knee as you slightly tuck the tailbone under and lift up from your lower back. Use your core, pull the front ribs and the back ribs towards your spine as you reach with the fingertips. Release the shoulders away from the ears. With the next exhalation, gently open up into a warrior two. Maybe widen your stand if it, you need to. The back foot is slightly angled in and both legs are active in this position. So start to lift the left kneecap away from the mat and gently start to bend your front knee or right knee. Maybe one day your right knee is going to be stacked over your ankle. But as you gaze down, make sure that the left knee goes towards the second toenail. So you're releasing the inner knee and engaging the outer hip. Pull the belly is and you lengthen out through the spine. Keep the legs in the same position. Inhale, come into a reverse warrior. Reach the right fingertips up and overhead as you pull it back into the shoulder. Keep the legs active. Exhale, extend this side angle. Place the right palm to the outside of the right foot or on a, top, on a block, or maybe you come onto your fingertips. Keep the back leg active. The outer arch of the left foot is grounding down. Now reach the top arm up and overhead, palm facing down. Start to pull that shoulder back into its socket. Keep the core engaged, reach. Feel that whole beautiful energy line from the outer arch of the back foot all the way to the crown of the head. And slowly and gently start to open up your upper body. Twist it open, but keep the right knee pressing into your right armpit. Open that right knee out. Don't let that right knee cave in. Reach the arm back and with core control, exhale, press it back into your warrior two. Inhale, square your hips, come into a crescent lunge, gaze forward, palms facing towards each other. And with core control, step up into a one-legged Tadasana and find your figure four one more time. So cross the left ankle on top of the right knee and then slowly Start to hinge forward with a flat spine. You can stay here 
Or maybe you can plant the palms down onto the mat. And maybe you can hook the left toes to the outside of the right elbow and come into flying pigeon if it's in your practice. Lift the back leg up. And from flying pigeon you can just release or maybe you can try to jump back into chaturanga what I'm trying to do on the video and come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift flat spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. This time the right knee lifts up. And exhale, coming into our figure four. So that's just the first figure four we're coming into. You should no need to go too deep in this posture. Just start to feel the left heel is grounding down. Square your hips. Slowly start to open up the right hip. You can stay here with the hands to heart center, or maybe you want to reach the arms up and overhead for a little bit more challenge. Keep the core strong, but keep the breath flow through the body. Slowly with the next inhale, rise back up, lift the right knee up, align with your hip, and exhale with core control, step back into your crescent lunge. Square your hips, slightly pull the left hip back and start to push just a little bit the right hip forward. Maybe bring that nice bend into the back knee and with a slight tuck into the tailbone, start to lift up from your lower back. Start to hug the belly in. Reach with the arms up and overhead. Maybe we straighten the right leg. Maybe go just a little bit deeper with the front knee. Eventually, maybe you can stack the left knee over the left ankle. But feel the lifting sensation in the entire upper body. With the next exhalation, open it up into warrior two. Adjust your feet as you need it. The back foot is grounding down. Engage the legs. Lift the right kneecap away from the mat as you start to push the outer arch of the right foot down, almost lifting the inner arch away from the mat. Feel the left heel centering down into your mat. And your right inner thigh, the left inner thigh, is releasing towards the front of the room. Start to hug the triceps and the biceps towards each other and reach with the fingertips to the opposite directions. Gaze over to the left fingertips, release the shoulders away from the ears. Let the breath flow through the body. Inhale, come into a reverse warrior. Reach the left fingertips up and overhead. Let it to no weight on the right palm back onto the right leg, or maybe you can come into a half bind as I'm, see, as I'm showing it on the video. Keep the back leg nicely engaged. Lift that right kneecap away from the mat. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep the length in the upper body as you place the left fingertips to the outside of the left foot. You can use that block. The block is always really good. It's a really, really difficult posture to get in and keep the hip and the knee in the right alignment. So a block is really nice to use in this posture. Start to grow long through the spine. Keep the back leg active. Build up that nice, strong energy line. And now reach the right arm up and overhead for a new Tita variation. So from the right outer foot all the way to the right fingertips, the body is reaching, lengthening, strengthening. In the meantime, the left knee is trying to come closer to the left armpit. Start to squeeze the outer left hip underneath you. With a strong core, reach the top arm up to the sky and come back to warrior two. Inhale, square your hips, come back to your crescent lunge. We've been here before. Find your nice long energy line with a nice core control. Engage your belly. Step up into your one-legged Tadasana. Lift the left knee. Align with your left hip. And exhale. Find your figure four. So you can stay in figure four. Hands at heart center. And just simply breathing into your left, uh, right hip this time. Flexing the right toes towards your knees. Or maybe you want to capture the left ankle bone. Balancing there, or you can go down all the way to plant the palms down to the mat. Hook the right toes to the outside of the left elbow, somewhere in between the elbow and the, and the armpit, close to the tricep. And lift the back leg up away from the mat if you find that nice balance. Stay, for, for, stay there for a couple breaths. Maybe you can shoot back to your chaturanga. And slowly just find your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of the mat. 
Inhale, Ardha, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, inhale. Sit back deep into your chair. Body weight back into the heel. And come into eagle. The right arm comes underneath the left. Find your bind, maybe a full bind. For tight shoulders, just get, grab opposite shoulders. Shift the body weight over to the left leg and lift the right leg up and over the left. You can come into kickstand position, finding a bind or a double bind. Bring the elbows and knees in one line. Start to squeeze the outer hips towards each other. Squeeze the inner thighs and start to squeeze the elbows as you lift the fingertips a little bit higher. And then start to reach the forearms forward without tensing your neck. Release, inhale, lift the right knee up, reach the arms up and overhead, and now straighten the right leg. Nice straight right leg. And then slowly start to shift the right leg back, balancing on the left foot for a warrior three. You can keep the hands at your heart center for balancing. You can try to reach the fingertips forward, palms facing towards each other. Start to lift up the left hip, and then start, start to release the right hip down as you lift the right leg from the right inner thigh. Find length through the entire body, keep the core strong. Exhale, find your standing split. Reach the right leg high, keep reaching with the inner thigh as you keep the right leg active. Exhale, right leg next to the left, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come back to chair pose. Sit nice and deep. Now we're going to find eagle on the other side. So the left arm comes on, underneath the right arm, finding your variation. Shift the body weight to the right leg and lift the left leg up and over. You can find the same variation here. Try to shift the shoulders over your hips. Pull the belly just gently closer to your spine to create more strength into your core. Find a stable point, a focal point, a focus point in front of you. Find your drishti. Squeeze the elbows, squeeze the inner thighs. Slowly release. Find your one-legged tadasana. Lift the left knee up and then slowly start to straighten the left leg. Use your lower belly. Exhale. Warrior three. Without touching the ground, reach the left foot back, ground down through the entire right foot. Lift the right hip a little bit higher, rotate the left hip down. As you lift the left leg up, with your left inner thigh, flex the left toes towards your face, reach through the left heel, release the fingertips down to the ground. Exhale, standing split. Reach the left leg high. Keep the left leg straight. Start to bring the forehead closer to your right shin. Exhale, left foot next to the right. Inhale to a half a lift, Arda. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center. Maintain a flat spine, sit nice and deep into your chair pose, squeeze those outer hips, keep the belly engaged. Come into a prayer twist. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And then bring the palms together, start to press into your palms, bring in a thumb towards your heart center. Squeeze those outer hips, ground down through your heels, and then start to grow a little bit longer from the tailbone all the way to the crown of the head. Find that length, maintain that length. And with that, start to twist a little bit deeper, finding a deeper twist. You can stay here working onto your twist, or maybe you can, you can lower it down and work on your side crow. Placing your right knee onto your left tricep, lean into that, keep those chaturanga arms, squeeze that in, keep the sternum nice and open, keep the chest open as you lean forward. Slowly release, come back into your chair pose. Hands at heart center, set up your nice chair pose, sit nice and deep, 
Body weight is back into your heels. And now pray your twist over to the left side. So the right elbow hooks to the outside of the left knee. Keep the knees in one line. You can even gaze back, make sure that both knees are in one line. That's going to mean that your hips are in a right alignment. Start to squeeze the outer hips. Start to grow long through the entire spine. And as you gently press the palms together, twist a little bit deeper. Utilize your breath. With every inhale, you go longer. With every exhale, you twist deeper. You can come down onto your palms and find side crow. Keeping the knees together. Leaning into your chaturanga arms. Keep the chest nice and open. Gaze a little bit more forward. Breathe. And then slowly release. Inhale, come back to your chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, step back to your downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward to a low lunge. Find length into your spine. Find your nice low lunge. Plant the left palm to the inside of the right foot. And then inhale the right fingertip up to the sky for a nice twist. You can use a block here underneath the left palm. Grow long through the spine and find a nice, nice deep twist here. Inhale, rise up into crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist. So keep the upper body upright and then reach the right fingertips back and the left fingertips forward. Find that twist coming from your waistline. Utilize your belly. Keep the back knee lifted away from the mat. Now start to hinge forward as far as you can with the left fingertips. Place the left fingertips down onto the mat like a foot in front of the right foot underneath the left shoulder and step up into twisted half moon. Reach the right fingertips up to the sky. Lift the left leg from your inner thigh and reach through the left heel, reach through the crown of the head. Pull the belly in, really lift the belly as you twist. From here, we're gonna stand up. Use your core as you stand up. And coming into a nice twist, grabbing the outer left knee with the right palm, finding the long spine here. Grab the outer arch of the left foot, if you can, and then slowly finding a nice twist. Come back to center, lift the left leg high, straighten the left leg, lift it as high as you can. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to your downward facing dog. One more side. Left the left foot forward. Find that low lunge. Keep the back knee lifted away from the mat. Keep the spine nice and long. Right palm grounds down onto the mat, maybe on the fingertip, maybe on the block. And then reach the left fingertips up and overhead. Strong energy line coming all the way from the right heel to the top of the head. Soften your belly as you try to find a deeper twist. Take a breath in. Maybe go deeper as you exhale. Release the left fingertips back down to the earth. Inhale, rise back up into your crescent lunge. Reach the arms up and overhead, palms facing towards each other. Squeeze those outer hips. Sit a little bit deeper into your crescent lunge. Come back to that breath. Now reach the left fingertips back and reach the right fingertips forward as you keep the upper body over your hips, finding a nice vertical twist. Bring the shoulder blades together onto your back and then start to reach forward with the right fingertips as far as you can. Keep that flat spine. Plant the right fingertips, the right palm, a foot in front of the left foot, right underneath your right shoulder and find your twisted half moon. Work on your length first. So reach through the right heel all the way to the crown of the head. Strengthen your core but breathe in the same time as you start to twist your upper body. Reach with the top arm up. Try to kiss the shoulder blades together. Lift the back leg just a little bit higher. 
and then slowly with balancing, without the right foot touching the ground, come up into a one-legged Tadasana and place the left palm onto the outside of the right knee and start to twist the upper body. Twist the big toe pose. You can stay here with the hand onto the knee and just find length through the spine, grounding down through the left heel. Or maybe you can try to straighten the right leg, grabbing the outer arch of the left right foot with the left palm and reaching the right fingertips back. Find length through the spine, inhale. Slowly start to release. Lift the right knee high, straighten the right leg in front of you, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Separate your feet hip distance apart and slide your palms underneath your feet so your toes are touching your wrists. Bring a generous bend into your knees. Take a deep breath in and exhale, gorilla pose, fold forward. So your belly is resting onto your thighs. Shift your hips over your heels. Send the elbows nice and wide and utilize the strength of the arms to pull the upper body closer and closer to your lower body as you release the tension from your neck. Slowly release. Step back to your high plank position. Wrist right underneath, right underneath your shoulders. Strong legs, strong core. Lower down onto your forearms. The elbows underneath the shoulders, palms down onto your mat. Keep the palms shoulder distance apart. And then we're going to come into the forearm side plank variation. So the left elbow is your foundation. Turn to the outside arch of the left foot and stack your joints, stack your ankles, stack your hips, stack your shoulders, reach with the right fingertips to the sky, pull the belly in, squeeze the hips as you lift the hips just a little bit higher, engage your legs, flex the toes towards your face, slowly exhale as you come back, center. Going over to the other side, right elbow down, right forearm down, roll to the outer arch of the right foot, Flex the toes towards your face, start to engage your legs, lift the kneecaps up, squeeze the hips, lift the hips just a little bit higher, pull the belly in, can you tuck the tailbone slightly under as you feel that energy line from the heels all the way to the crown of the head, reach with the top arm to the sky, inhale, exhale, slowly lower it down, come back, plank on the forearm, keep the sternum open, belly is pulling towards the spine, Exhale, lower it down, find child's pose. Rest your chest in between the thighs, reach the fingertips forward. Inhale, rise up. Sit down onto your mat. Come, in, come into both pose, Navasana. Find yourself grounding down. And then bring the palms behind your knees. And lift the legs away from the mat. Without losing the straightness of your spine, pull the belly in, feel the lower belly being engaged. Keep the sternum open and then start to straighten one leg. Bend that leg, start to straighten the other. Maybe straighten both legs. Exhale slowly, slower, lower down into a low boat, reaching the toes forward, keeping the shoulders away from the mat. Now lift the right leg up over the hip. And exhale, switch legs. Try to keep both legs straight. Point the toes, keep the legs engaged, pull the belly in. Really strong core here as your shoulder blades are still lifting away from the mat. Your chin slightly tucked towards your chest. You're feeling like there's an apple in between the chest and the chin. And switch legs a couple times with the breath. Now both legs, both legs over the hips. Flex the toes towards your face and lift the tailbone away from the mat. Lift the shoulders away from the mat. Lift everything up for three, two, one. Slowly with core control, come on back into your boat pose. Maybe try to straighten the legs. Take a deep breath in as you lengthen through the spine. Hold it here, exhale. And release it down onto your mat. Bring the knees onto your chest. Pull the knees in. Roll from one side to the other, massage out your lower back. Plant your feet, hip distance apart. 
you can touch your heels with your fingertips coming into bridge pose lift the hips high shimmy your shoulder blades together maybe interlace the 10 fingers underneath your tailbone press the palms together as you lift the tailbone a little bit higher lift the hips a little bit higher press into your heels slowly lower down next round is either a bridge pose or wheel pose if it's in your practice press into the palms slowly lower back down gently bring both knees onto your chest coming into happy baby grab the outsides of your feet and bring the knees into your armpits and start to lower the tailbone down to the man slightly tuck the chin towards your chest so the entire spine is grounding down getting longer onto your mat you can roll from one side to the other if you want to straighten one leg you want to straighten the other leg maybe you just want to stay still into your happy baby position Maybe you want to straighten both legs, holding on on the big toes. Keep lowering the tailbone down. Keep the back of the neck pressing down towards your mat. And slowly release, bring both knees onto your chest. Now straighten the left leg, flex the left toes towards your face as you pull the right knee into the right armpit. Exhale, supine twist. Right knee over to the left side, gaze over to the right side. Keep both shoulder blades down onto the mat. Gently breathe a little more length into your spine. With the exhalation, allow yourself to twist just a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Give yourself a nice little squeeze to neutralize your spine. And switch sides as you pull the left knee into the left armpit straight and the right leg. Flex the right toes towards your face. And exhale, supine twist as you release the left knee over to the right side. Gaze over to the left. Happy, relaxed shoulder blades. Close your eyes for the rest of the practice. Just listening to the breath. Come back to center. Bring the knees onto your chest and roll up all the way into the seated position. Come into Dandasana. Sit bones grounding down. Flex the toes towards your face. Inhale, your arms up and overhead, nice flat spine. Exhale, keep all that nice straightness in your spine as you fold forward. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Start to lengthen the spine with every inhale. And try to go just a little bit deeper, but nice and gentle with every exhale. Gently flex the toes towards your face. Breathe length into your hamstrings, into your calves. And slowly rise back up. Bend your knees, soles of the feet onto your mat. Reach the fingertips forward as slowly one vertebrae at a time. Roll back down onto your mat. Straighten the legs. Coming into our Shavasana. Final resting pose. Let the toes fall out. Palms by your side. Gently shimmy your shoulder blades closer together, allowing your heart to lift up. I'll start to scan your body. Just gently let all the tension go. Just watch your breath without controlling the breath. Just feel every inhale and every exhale. Get enough from the mind. Let go.
You can stay here as long as you want. If you want to start moving forward, gently bend your knees. Bring your knees onto your chest. Roll over to your right side for fetal position. Press yourself up. Move nice and slowly. Come into a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart center. Sit up nice and straight. Keeping your eyes closed. Bring your thumbs up to the third eye center. Exhale, fold forward. Namaste.